Okay, uh, posted four poems on January the 29th, 2023, to catch up to the, because I did wind up doing 31 poems that month. And this is the first of the four that I posted on that day. It's uh, number 3,849, and it is called, He's But a Whimper of Who He Once Was. Yeah. We're working our way up to number one in Billboard's list of the greatest, the top ten greatest fears of all time. It's a hot 100 degrees Fahrenheit out in the city today, and on a more serious note, isn't it a damn shame what happened to Casey Kasem? And I concur, knowing that's why I haven't even gone home for a funeral, at least not my little brother's a decade or so ago, and then when mom goes, I'm pretty sure if I'm still around, I'll do the same, which is celebrate her life in my own private way here in the city to which I ran away from home, albeit circuitously, arriving over 22 years ago. And sure, I despise the family politics and bickering and greed that shine brightest in families around funeral times. That's a beacon I'd truly rather just avoid. But is that the real reason I wouldn't go back? Haven't, in over a dozen years now, I did get my siblings. Well, Larry afforded his own, but Ginger and Gary I treated. Tickets to come visit me after Gary's first scare, or was it his second? That few days together, the four of us were divine. Just the best. A couple of years later, no less, and Gary passed. Asphyxiated in his truck after passing out in it late one evening after he said he was taking off. The story goes that he was obviously too drunk to drive, and so my uncle or cousin or some relative he had been spending time, his time at Aunt Patty's was having none of that, connived to get the keys from him as each of the adult family members made their ways to wherever work was with all of the kids who were no doubt dropped off at school. And so Gary, in the truck with no keys, rolled up the windows, fell asleep, and passed out and was gone by the time folks started arriving back from their various jobs and schools. Maybe I've embellished this a bit, but the truth is, I wasn't there. I don't know what happened. All I know is that he left this life. I was very sad, knowing that one of my little brothers was gone so soon, but also happier than ever that I had gotten us all together in San Francisco those few days a couple of years previous. At that time, I certainly didn't have the means to get back to Arkansas. Uh, when he passed, that is. <clears throat> that was the beginning of what I hope I'm approaching the end of, <clears throat> and still hope. The most difficult years of my life, which included a surprise disappearance by a partner of 10 years. A long bout with a grief so huge that it could be characterized as an overly long illness, which was followed by a great chasm of depression or a continuation of the overly long illness, an eviction, two years of homelessness, six months of which I was working while literally living in the streets, the other year and a half of which I lived in a total of two shelters and with help from a therapist just to get a roof over my head, a brief stint at a rehab facility before finally transitioning back into the shelter, the only one in which one might stay within nearly within nearly 24 7 except for the one day of the month when pest control comes i had left thinking i had a place to stay and a job the job remained the place to stay retracted their offer when they found out i'd been evicted and this was an sro hence the necessity of living on the streets while holding the cubicle job best i could for the duration of its six-month contract and then finally transitioning into a home of my own after I'd been housed almost two full years in a place where I now type this up to toss into the wind in hopes that it will get to you and in which I am presently. I've been four years here, but I should be in a better place soon. There are no plans in the works and hopefully a domino effect of good news that will follow after that happens, but now I'm sitting here in a bit of limbo, a limbo in which I've become so familiar knowing how to sort of ease time along to keep myself from going totally stir-crazy. This limbo was brought about by a sprained knee, and it is ever painful. I only sprained it a week ago, though, and it's, and it's like now nine months later, and I still have problems. 
nine months and one cancer surgery later I can add just for just the fun of it. Um, anyway, which I'm, I'm, I mean, the cancer, that part's, I'm totally fine, but my knee's still giving me problems. Um, <clears throat> this limbo, uh, yeah, sprained knee, and is it ever painful? I only sprained it a week ago, though, cleaning my apartment of all things. Oh, the stuff I'm leaving out of the story, which would make this sound so horribly tragic. It's true. But indeed, it's such a normal story these days, and I'm one of the lucky ones thus far, which is hard for me to fathom as the obstacles have been so overwhelming in getting to here from there that I find myself amazed all too often, wondering how anyone does this and thankful for what I do have, what I have had. That I will survive, etc. It seems almost as if this took a wrong turn somewhere, but actually now that I look back at where we've been thus far, this is probably where I meant to go tonight. And I just skimmed the surface, like I said, because who'd believe me? Because it's just too pressing or tra tragic sounding? Too depressing or tragic sounding? I don't know for sure. This is more than I usually tell these days. And you're pretty much all I have to share with at present. And well, for quite some time now. But one thing seems finally all but certain and that is that my near decade in the trenches is soon coming to a close. It refuses to go swiftly and silently, continuing to create these annoying obstacles even at this late date. But I assure you, unless something so unexpected that it doesn't bear even being mentioned, I'm about to be back in more familiar and more economically and socially feasible territory again. And while I've always held on to such hope and perhaps have painted such a picture once or twice before over the years, this time, this time, I mean, sure, I'm a bit melancholy here by myself on a Saturday night, and I've come out surely as objective as someone like me can be, a better person through this hellish set of trials and ridiculousness, and I have a few things to show for it, but just you wait. I wonder, though, who'll be around when I do finally make my way back to that old familiar life, or will it be familiar? And Will any of you even recognize me? If not, it's probably for the better. Who's lucky enough for such a fresh start again, anyway? 